Hey, what's up, guys? This is Adrian, the web scraping guy. If you need anything scraped, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguy.com. And today we're going to be going over how to screenshot with Node.js. So say we want to take a screenshot of this e-commerce page and just keep track of the price. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, we just want to grab the URL. And we are going to use Puppeteer. And Puppeteer makes this really easy to do so we have this url and then i created this function called demo and then you're going to npm install these things like uh, puppeteer extra stealth plugin and that's how you use them and we use that so we don't get detected as much because uh, yeah when using puppeteer and then we launch the browser like this and this executable path is where chrome is actually on your computer so then um, if you need to, then just like go to where Chrome is installed and then copy the path and paste it here. And then on AWS Lambda, which is where I deploy all of my puppeteer scripts, then this is what the configuration looks like. And if you want a better video on that, then I have a video on how to get puppeteer on AWS Lambda. So check that out. And yeah, so we create the page, instantiate the page, go to uh, the URL, and then I have a timestamp here. So it will give me a unique uh, file path for each new screenshot, even if the URL is the same that we want. But yeah, that's all you do is just await page.screenshot, and then that's it, you have a screenshot. And there's other variables that you can use here, like full page, uh, etc. And then this is here because Last time that I, you know, installed Puppeteer, it uh, it never got here. Like I, there was a bug, so I had to close all the pages before I called browser.close. So that's why that's there. But uh, that's it. So let's see if this works. Recall. I just have this file called DB Roberts, and so that's why it's called DB Roberts. I'm just gonna use that. And let's see what happened. And it looks like we didn't get the price. And we might need to wait until all the DOM is loaded. And you can do that by going on the go to here. Yeah, oh, right there. GitHub Copilot, read my mind. If you don't have GitHub Copilot, what are you waiting for? You need that. Okay, that didn't look like it really waited. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't wait like it at all. Uh, so you can try network idle too, which is like waiting until all of the Ajax or network network requests are done and boom so it looks like they are getting the price from a network request but sometimes there's just two like i don't really like to use this because a lot of times they ha these sites have just tons of like widgets and stuff installed so to wait for all of the network requests to end that is a tongue twister network request you have to slow down um i like to just wait for timeout like screw it a lot of people don't like to use that, but uh, man, it's it works. All right, three seconds, boom, done. Check it out here, done, it works. So we have the price, everything that we need. Yeah, so don't let the haters uh, not let you use wait for timeout, like whatever, it works. Like these, yeah, are just hard to use. Um, and that's it. I guess uh, I should mention too that if you want to use a proxy, this is the setup. So you'll have args and then proxy server and then IP and port. So 3999 is the port. So that's how you would set that up. And then if your IP or your proxy requires a username and password, like an authentication, then that's how you do that here. So you put the username and password. And if you need a proxy, I recommend uh, Storm Proxies or Smart Proxies. I have an affiliate link in the description for, for Storm Proxies. So if you could use that, that would help me out. Appreciate that, thank you. And one other thing to mention as well is that it's pretty expensive to do this though. Like if you need thousands of screenshots every month or day or something then i think that's going to be like hundreds of dollars uh because anytime you run puppeteer 
And if you need it done like really fast, you need to run it concurrently. And that gets expensive in AWS or I think anything uh, with running Puppeteer. If someone runs it elsewhere and it's cheaper, like EC2 or something, let me know. Um, I've tried to spin it up on EC2 and there's a huge pain in the butt though. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, then maybe it's worth it to do it in AWS uh, Lambda. And that's it. So that's how you take screenshots. And um, yeah, good luck. If you need anything else web scraped, email me, adrian at the webscraping guy.com. Thanks.